Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's second video. So we're doing the weekend forecast for today's second video. As well as on a Saturday, we're having a detailed look at the weather for the week ahead. And what a difference two days makes because uh, in a couple of days ago, Thursday, it was baking hot, record breakingly hot as it turns out. And uh, also a lot of sunshine uh, as well. Today, it's pouring with rain, got like heavy rain across much of the country. Temperatures have dropped by around or even perhaps more than 20 degrees centigrade. And uh, it does feel a tad autumnal actually out there under the, persist, the heaviest and persistent of uh, the rain. So we'll see what the next week's weather has in store. There's certainly no sign that we're going back to that excessive heat. So if you didn't like the heat, and it did get a bit overbearing, I have to say, um, there's no sign that we're going back to that. Actually, it looks like the first part of the week is going to be quite unsettled. A couple of days of drier and warmer weather in the second half of the week. And by warmer, I'm just talking about mid uh, 20 Celsius type temperatures, nothing excessive at all. Uh, and then by next weekend, we might start going more unsettled again, uh, actually. So I'll give a weekend forecast for you in a moment, just to say that the first video released was the second uh, summer, um, autumn 2019 seasonal uh, model roundup. So again, 13 long range models together to see what they're all showing for only the second time this season uh, for the autumn. Uh, and we're also going to have a week to 10 day video update uh, with all, all of the regular features coming up later on this afternoon. The websites we're using for the uh, week head forecast are coming from the weatheroutlook.com and weathercentral.de. You can find a link to both of those websites in the description box at YouTube and also on the links page at Gav's Weathers. So, starting with the radar picture, and uh, it certainly is wet out there across many parts of the country. You've got this band of heavy rain, but it's pretty much stuck over the country uh, today. Heavy rain from the northwest of Scotland down into southwest of part of Scotland, into northern England, and then through to uh, north and west Wales, or north and east Wales, I should say, into the Midlands and then down into the southeast. The rain has turned a little bit more showery in the far southeast corner, but you can see there are more echoes over the other side of the channel. That will probably be a further pulse of heavy rain that will be running along this front southeast to northwest during the course of this afternoon. In the far northeast, we're missing the worst of the rain, so northern east of parts of Scotland are just into the far northeast of England, mainly dry. Northern Ireland is dry for the moment. That rain will probably push over there tonight and into tomorrow. And for the west and south of Wales and into southwestern England, it's mainly dry as well. And that's where the best of weather will be actually today in the southwest of England. It'll be a very nice day coming up uh, down there. So here's today's top two pressure chart, and uh, low pressure has taken over. So the weather front is kind of like strung out across the country, northwest to southeast, uh, like that. And, and you see it with the allegations in the isobars. There'll be further ripples of rain running along that uh, weather front through this afternoon. So for Wales and southwest England, it's not going to be too bad. Or for west and south of Wales, I should say, and southwest England, it's not going to be too bad at all. It's afternoon, there'll be bright or sunny spells coming through, and it should stay mainly dry. Northern Ireland should also be mainly dry as well, may turn cloudy and fair. And then for north and east Scotland, also a reasonable amount of dry weather with some bright or sunny spells. However, in between the northeast and the southwest, we have this band of rain. So through the rest of this afternoon, it's going to carry on raining heavily across much of southwest Scotland, south and west Scotland, into northern England, through north and east Wales, into the Midlands, over towards East Anglia, into central southern parts of England. Now, that rain will ease a little bit further westwards by the end of the afternoon. So some eastern counties will start to dry up a little bit. Um, but really, the band of rain is going nowhere fast. It's going to carry on pouring with rain through much of the afternoon through that central sway of the country from northwest to southeast. Under this persistent rain, temperatures are only around 16, 17 or 18 degrees. We have dropped the temperature by over 20 degrees, can you believe, in just two days. Uh, where the sun shines out, it's going to be very pleasant. Temperatures 22 or 23. That's about average for late July 23. 
is 73 Fahrenheit. Overnight tonight, we keep it unsettled. The band of rain will uh, sort of narrow a little bit. Looks like it's going to start to push over towards Northern Ireland as we get through the course of the night. Still raining heavily through the night across southwest Scotland. Uh, some parts of northwest England also still wet into the north and the east of Wales. In fact, other parts of Wales might start to turn a bit wetter through the night. And then down into the Midlands, it looks like it's going to stay quite wet there as well, with further pulses of heavy rain uh, coming along. Possibly some parts of South East England, but I think much of East England will actually turn drier through tonight, and the far southwest will remain dry too. Temperatures range around 10 to 15 degrees Celsius, so a relatively warm night, as you would expect, in late July, but uh, certainly not that excessively, those excessively warm temperatures that we have by night. Um, not all that long ago. So we go through to Sunday and that wet weather is going to push a bit further westward still, becoming focused around southwest Scotland, Northern Ireland, down towards the north of Wales, probably. So around the Irish Sea area, some parts of northwest England too, outbreaks of rain could continue through much of the day, but will probably turn lighter through the course of the afternoon. Many other areas actually going to have quite a nice day tomorrow with bright or sunny spells coming through. Certainly a lot drier than today. There could be showers across some parts of Scotland and northern England. Temperatures tomorrow in any sunny spells are going to get around 22 or 23. So about average, pleasantly warm, uh, low 70s Fahrenheit. Under a persistent rain mode, temperature probably only around 15 degrees Celsius, so feeling really quite autumnal and about persistent rain across the uh, northwest tomorrow afternoon. That takes us through to Monday. Monday, we have a little bump of high pressure across the country. However, this next area of low pressure is developing down to the southwest. More on that in a moment. Monday itself should have a lot of dry weather. We will get rid of the last of that wet weather from the northwest overnight, Sunday into Monday. And then many places on Monday will stay dry with sunny spells. One or two showers could break out, particularly in the north and the northeast. And by the end of the day, this area of low pressure here is likely to be bringing cloud and outbreaks of persistent rain in towards the far southwest of England. That said, most places have a dry start to working week with sunny spells and temperatures will be uh, ranging from around, say, uh, 18 to 23, 23 being 73 in Fahrenheit. This low pressure moves northwards as we go through into Tuesday. That's going to take outbreaks of rain with it. So Tuesday could well start wet across much of England and Wales with heavy and persistent outbreaks of rain. A dry start for Scotland and Northern Ireland, but this rain will push further northwards into Northern England through Northern Ireland, possibly getting towards uh, southern and southwestern parts of Scotland during the course of the afternoon. Much of Scotland will probably stay dry on Tuesday. Behind the band of rain, and that's really for central southern parts of England and Wales, it'll brighten up, I would have thought, on Tuesday afternoon. But as it does so, we may well set off heavy showers or thunderstorms. There could be some really big showers indeed on uh, Tuesday. It could be a very, very lively day with the risk of hail, thunder, lightning, and possibly even flash flooding uh, in those heavier downpours. Where we've got the persistent rain from central, it's going to be quite a cool day on Tuesday with temperatures only around 17 or 18 degrees. As it brightens up, though, uh, temperatures could reach around 23 or 24. However, bear in mind, showers are, are likely to break out. They are likely to be very heavy and they will uh, peg the temperatures back into Wednesday, and we're just beginning to start to build up a little bit of a ridge out to our west. Well, we're still under a trough of low pressure, really, within the 500 millibar flow on Wednesday. So we start off mainly dry with brighter sunny spells, but expect more showers to break out through the day. Probably not as widespread as we have on Tuesday, but nevertheless, I think there'll be a lot of them around on Wednesday, and they will be slow-moving, heavy, thundery uh, for many of us, again, particularly through Wednesday afternoon. Temperatures are ranging from around 18 to 24. 
Then through Thursday, we begin to raise pressure across the country. This uh, rig starts to build through the UK. So uh, Thursday, the emphasis shifts more towards dry weather. Probably still showers around. They're most likely I would have fought over high ground. So like the Southern Uplands, the Pennines, the Welsh Mountains, those sort of areas could be prone to some heavy or thundery showers on Thursday. But many of us are likely to stay dry on Thursday with bright or sunny spells. Temperatures will be pleasantly warm under this ridge, a range from around 20 to 25. 25 is 77 Fahrenheit. The ridge is still with us uh, for Friday, although it is starting to weaken already. Again, the emphasis on Friday is on mostly dry weather with bright or sunny spells. Again, there could be one or two showers breaking out. They might be a little bit on the sharp side. They're particularly focused around high ground, I think, but uh, they will be scattered. And you'll be quite unlucky to get a shower in any one location. Friday looks like it should be a mostly dry day. Temperatures could reach 26 in London. That's around 79 Fahrenheit. More widely, uh, a range from around 21 to 25 degrees. So, quite a warmish end to the week. Then we go through to the weekend, and that high pressure is breaking down. It looks like as low pressure starts heading from off the Atlantic. Saturday could have a lot of dry weather uh, across the country, and still quite warm in the south and the east, but cloud and rain coming into the north and west. And by the time you get through to Sunday, we may well find low pressure taking cloud and outbreaks of rain across many parts of the country. Uh, temperatures as the wind swings into the west, probably taking a bit of a tumble as well. And that could have set us up for quite an unsettled uh, first half to August, actually. More on that in today's third video update that will be coming up on the homepage at Gazovis later on uh, this afternoon. Uh, let's just do the charts from Weather Outlook. I nearly forgot about that. So uh, here we go to see weather in your area. Outbreaks of rain through this central part of the country. Uh, today dry on either side. The best of the sunshine is in the far southwest. Rain mainly out towards the northwest tomorrow. Drier across southern and eastern parts of the country. I and mean, by the time you get through to uh, Monday, actually it looks like I've got a nice day coming up on Monday with plenty of dry and fine dishes. Just one or two showers until late on in the day when outbreaks rates of rain return to the southwest and then Tuesday looks a very showery day heavy rain spreads northwards overnight Monday into Tuesday and then Tuesday we go from sort of persistent rain to heavy showers or thunderstorms lots of showers around again on Wednesday through Thursday and Friday still some showers around but the emphasis is shifting more towards drier weather Quite warm at the end of the week as well. Not excessively hot, don't worry. We're not talking about temperatures going into the 100s Fahrenheit. Um, but pleasantly warm at the end of the week, around 80 Fahrenheit, somewhere like central London. Um, and not too bad at all for Thursday and Friday, but then probably go downhill again next weekend. And as I was just saying, um, that probably sets us up for quite an unsettled first half to August. More on that in today's third video update. So, in summary, uh, well, we're starting much, much cooler and wetter across the country uh, today. And uh, we're going to see the, uh, the wet weather pushing westwards through to tomorrow. Then we have quite a dry start to week, but outbreaks of rain pushing up from the southwest through uh, late Monday and into Tuesday. Heavy showers or thunderstorms Tuesday, Wednesday. Drier and warmer for Thursday and Friday. Probably back to unsettled conditions next weekend. We'll be back with the third video update for today coming up uh, later on this afternoon. So come back for that then. That's all for now and thanks for watching.